News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, drivers and their crew ready for the weekend. And local business is having an open house. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Drivers, start your cars. It's Friday, December 1st. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Well, they're back. The annual Best in the Desert race begins tomorrow morning in the town of Johnny. This is the return of the Prompt Nugget. This will be the second year for 2017. Uh, we started it in 1997 and went dormant in 2008, but we came back last year and with the wonderful help of the Prop Nugget and the sponsorship that they've given us, we were able to bring it back once again for 2017. It's uh, called the uh, Nugget 250, 250 miles? Yes, ma'am. It's actually 247 mile total distance, point to point. So it starts in Johnny and finishes here at the Prompt Nugget. So on Saturday, we started marking the course and we marked it through uh, Tuesday and then on Wednesday we had a pre-fun run. That's a chance for the drivers to see the course and they ran the course from the start line to pit seven which is Johnny and then on Thursday we held our time trials and we had 21 uh, vehicles participate in the time trials and the number one truck of Jason Voss won the time trials and then uh, today's Friday uh, tech and contingency so the drivers are rolling through here getting their decals put on their truck and making sure they meet and pass our tech inspection and then uh, Saturday's race day, we start at 8 a.m. So we have a spectator area, it's at race mile 156. It's between uh, Amargosa and Beatty, about halfway in between, and there's a turnoff called Steve's Pass Road. Right across from that, it's a spectator area. Nice, uh, cleared area where they can watch the race vehicles go by at speed. All right, tell me what types of vehicles that we're looking at here, what are these? So these are unlimited cars, most of them. So some of them are built from a, a frame that you would see at a manufacturer, and some of them are complete tube chassis vehicles. They range from $100,000 to up to $750,000. And what's the class is racing? So our unlimited cars are called the trick trucks, are the fastest, and then we have the 1500, which is an unlimited car. And then we have the 6100, who it's a spec motor truck class. And then you have 2400, which is a Ford EcoBoost motor, Ford performance money, and they are really pushing the EcoBoost. So that's a stock car. And then you have the Class 1000, which is a limited motor class, unlimited suspension. And it goes all the way down to Jeep Speed, which is a bone stock Jeep. Tell me about the UTVs. So the UTVs, it's a growing class. Um, they're, they've exploded in the last couple of years. And this race, we have 50 total entries in the UTVs. So that's, we have the turbo class and we have the naturally aspirated that are just normal motors. They have no turbos. And uh, factory sponsorship, you have Polaris Razor, the Can-Am Maverick 3 all kinds of factory support in the razors and the and the utv class in general all right and that's going to bring a championship tell me about that yep so this is the final race for 2017 for all the the truck and car series and the utvs so there is a battle between the top uh three utv turbos are spread within five points apart coming in the final race and they have about seven different classes that all the vehicles are only two two points apart. So this is a, an important race for them to make sure they wrap up their championship. It's gonna be tense. It's gonna be very exciting to watch. Well, the big race begins at 8 a.m. Saturday morning in the town of Johnny, and the cars start crossing the finish line at the Prompt Nugget around noon. Mojave Dermatology is having an open house on Monday, and the public's invited to attend. Well, we're having an open house. Uh, we'd like uh, people to come out to see our office and uh, meet, our, meet our staff, uh, get an idea of uh, what we do here. Uh, we're also going to have some food. Uh, we're going to have some uh, prizes to raffle off, uh, some Botox, some filler, 
uh, as well as some product discounts. Uh, and you know, just want to get everybody a chance to, if they haven't met us, or even patients that have met us, to come in and you know, just have a more casual event. Tell us a little bit about what it is that you do here at Mojave Dermatology. What services do you offer? Well, uh, as far as dermatology, we offer a complete cosmetic and medical dermatology office. Uh, we treat uh, rashes, skin cancers, uh, we perform on-site Mohs surgery, uh, we, tr we remove moles, uh, we treat acne, uh, general, all general dermatology as well as uh, cosmetic dermatology uh, in the way of uh, skin fillers, Botox, uh, other augmentation processes. Um, some lasers are available, uh, but at this point, we're not at this location. Okay, but people can come see you though to begin the process if they wanted to get laser or something of that sort. Absolutely. So the thing is we could see them, we'll do a cosmetic consultation, uh, we'll basically tell them what we recommend for them, and then you know, we can move forward from there. Wonderful. Now if people want to attend this event, what do they do? Uh, generally it'll be uh, December, it'll be Monday, December 4th mm -hmm. from 4 to 7 p.m. Um, there, we'd like them to call the office and RSVP uh, so that we have, you know, so that we know about how many people to accommodate. Uh, but they are welcome to show up if they can't do that. Uh, we'd like to just have as many people, big a turnout as we can have. Um, and uh, they'll call our office. It's 775-727-0900. Very good. And can they call over the weekend as well? Absolutely. They can call and uh, leave a message. Uh, and again, if they can't RSVP, then they're certainly still welcome to attend the event. Oh, that's fantastic. Now give us your location, please. We're at 1420 East Calvada, Suite 100. We're um, uh, on the corner of Calvada and Prump Valley Boulevard. Very good. Let's one more time give the hours. We're here from 8 to 5. Uh, we have someone in the office Monday through Friday, but Mondays and Wednesdays we see patients, um, basically. But the event itself will be from 4 to 7 p.m. on December 4th. The VFW post on Homestead Road was just approved for a new well. And now we will go to item 27. Uh, this discussion deliberation regarding providing funding for the veterans of foreign wars, which I'm glad you put this on. Uh, they're to donate 15000 for the well that's failed. You know, you've seen the backup. Is there a motion on this item? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Brodsky, second by Wickman. Further discussion? Any further discussion? I think it looks like everybody's in agreement, probably. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Well, that was 5 0 anyway. All right. Thank you. Tom, did you want to say anything? I mean, you know, it's up to you. You've uh, got two Toms. I'm always asking. I, I met Tom Vick, but Tom Waters, too. Yeah, come on up. I'm sure everybody can hear me. I'm sure everybody can hear me. I want to thank the Your community for your support, and I want to thank the community for your support. And if the community needs anything from us, please ask. All right, thank you. Thank you, Tom. I'm hunting up donations too, and I know Butch has been working on on that, so we'll fill that gap. Go ahead. Tom Waters, W A T E R S. I was just going to say that anything you do for the VFW Post, you're doing it for the entire veteran community. So thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. After this break, game wardens are asking for your help in solving a crime. <laughs> 